So, so Roger, yeah, going sorry. back to, you know, we're talking about your three pillars. Um, on the art side, how did you get into art before NFTs? Because it seems like you had some passion or love for it before ever knowing like what the fuck Nifty Gateway was. As a kid and as a teenager, I was passionate about drawing, right? I loved to draw. And so I took some like informal art classes. Not, I'm no, not a serious art education per se, but a passion for it. Mm -hmm. And then as a kid, I was a collectibles guy. I was a comic book guy. And I started to get into comic book art to the point that now like, shout out to James White, a great uh, NFT artist, but we joke all the time. We want to buy Jay Lee, who's an artist in, in the comic book industry. We wanted to buy Jay Lee's original covers because I was, I was getting really into what was going on there and studying it a little bit. Um, so again, nothing crazy formal, but a, a, but a passion. And I felt that reinvigorated here in a totally unexpected way. So walk us through when you see somebody like the face and what that means to you, like the art, you know, and like what you saw in his art. So what I, what I used to do when I, when I understood that I liked art, right? Because remember, I was just trading at first. And then I started to say, okay, I'm going to trade tonight, but that piece, I really like it. So I'm going to trade to profit, but I'm going to vault that piece. Mm. I started to go into it with that mentality. Okay. And then over time, that just kept shifting. So when I found Defaced, it was not too long after I started trading NFTs, but I had come to that realization that right. I actually like the art here. So what I would do is I would find an artist. I would do all the research. Who is this person, right? And I would go into Instagram portfolio, website if it was there, anything that I could find. And with Defaced, I remember finding these uh, Maker's Place pieces. And Starman, the original Starman, LOL, Benny, we're going to get to it. Um, it was just sitting there. And, and I, I thought, holy shit. I had seen Defaced on, on Twitter, I believe, at the time. And I just went down the rabbit hole. Yeah. And, I, and I looked at, you know, your early logo work and your development after that. And, and just assaulted, like, Defaced history yeah. and came to the realization. I'm like, I, I love, one, your art. Two, your evolution. Because I think when you when you scrolled all the way back to, to the origin, at least of what, at least what you had shared publicly, the evolution was so crystal clear, and I just loved your approach.